David Zritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. We've got a relatively short one for you today, but I thought it was important to revisit. Not too long ago, I did a full review of this jacket that I'm wearing now from the Matera scene from No Time to Die. It's done by Connolly of England. It's a very well-made jacket from a luxury brand. And I was very honest during this review and I, I like the jacket, I like how it was made, what it was made of, but one thing that I did mention is that I don't know if it was the style or the type of jacket that I would just grab, run out of the house and wear in a casual way outside of it being a Bond moment, a Bond collectible. And let's face it, when, when things are from a luxury brand, it's a bit of an investment to just say, oh, I'm going to hang that up on a hanger and no, check, I've got it. This is the things I want to wear. That's part of this whole invisible bond. So I decided I've got to make a quick errand to my office, which is still in lockdown, but I've got to pick up some things. And I decided to wear it out. Give it a try. Wear it in the wild, so to speak. I'm pairing it with the sunglasses, the Barton Pereira sunglasses from the movie. I've got a fun, whimsical, all of our brown t-shirt underneath. It's casual. It's, it's nice out. You can see it's absolutely beautiful. I've got my Planet Ocean. I've got a pair of Uniqlo on, nothing fancy. And I also have my uh, No Time to Die, what I'm calling my No Time to Die Sperry shoes. I'm in total relax mode. So I'm gonna take a drive, try this jacket out and answer the question, is this something that I would go to? Let's give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna skip that one for today because it needs to get inspection. And instead I'll take this puppy, I've got my briefcase already, and let's go for a drive. Okay, so I just arrived to work and I've gotta say, the driving experience was very good. And think about this, I mean, we have a lot of fitted clothing that we wear, that just happens to be the James Bond way, it seems. But this is billowy, right? It's linen, it's uh, not fitted, it kind of hangs on you. Again, that medium fits perfectly for my 40 inch chest and it hangs like it does in the movie. But one of the things that I found was that it wasn't restrictive, a very important term when you think about driving. I mean, you've got to do things and go places in these, in these wonderful pieces of luxury. But if it's not practical, what's, what's the point of purchasing it? This was not binding, another important word. I found then when I was steering and, and doing the many things you've got to do in a car, this wasn't cutting off the circulation. I had really great movement. I'll go one step further. In many cases, it didn't feel like I was wearing anything at all. It uh, certainly protected me from the cold, 50 degrees outside. I didn't have any heat nor did I have air conditioning in here. So I was feeling the elements inside of my car, even had the window cracked for a little bit, and I felt comfortable. So, so far from a practicality, enjoyment of wear, it passes the car test with flying colors. Okay, so I've been now running around the office, just gathering some of those things I needed to gather. It's totally empty here, so I can pretty much talk very freely, but Okay, I have to admit, I'm enjoying the jacket. From a look standpoint, I, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm used to it. I, is that possible? I've got, I, I have a situation going on in my head right now where I've stopped seeing it as the Matera Bond jacket and how it looks in the paparazzi photos and some of the trailers and more about how am I enjoying the functionality the practicality of this jacket. It's perfect. It's probably about 68 degrees, 70, 67 degrees in here. And by the way, I'm wearing a size medium. This is a 40 chest that you're looking at and a 31 inch waist. And I definitely have the right size. And I'm wearing it like Bond with the one button. So it's very billowy and it's very simple. It almost feels like it's unrestricted. I. I I, even though I'm doing a review of this in the real world, I'm forgetting that I'm wearing it. That's a sign of a good style piece because I'm, I'm less worried about the style, which by the way, I think it fits fine. And I'm more conscious of, am I enjoying wearing this? And I'm, 
I'm not thinking to myself like, oh, is that the type of thing I would wear or not? It's just become very comfortable. It almost reminds me, and, and I know it's a luxury brand, so I'm going to get slapped in the face for this, no doubt. It almost reminds me of, of like when you wear a hoodie or you wear kind of like a sweatshirt or something that you just zip up and throw and go. It's that comfortable and it's that ease of movement, yet if I was just to wear this t-shirt, I would be cold. So it's, it's definitely doing what it needs to do. Well, the experiment was very interesting. I mean, obviously I went into this wondering if I wore this out in the wild, would it be something that I would embrace? And I have to say it's moved it along. It's probably brought it up a step or two as far as something in my sartorial armament that I would go to, first of all, comfort. I mean, I really felt that this was something very comfortable uh, to wear, especially in this very casual outfit. And one of the things I liked about it is it's non-restrictive. It's something a little bit different. When I first got it, I thought, all right, is it something from my fashion sense that I would go to? But, you know, I throw on hoodies and I throw on oversized stuff when I want to be comfortable. This is this is more of a comfortable statement, something that I would have activity in. I could see myself walking around in. I don't know if it's something that, um, so for example, would I typically go for a Tom Ford Harrington to kind of look a little bit more in that typical Bond mode. But from a David Zaritsky comfort level, just knocking around and needing something to, to stave off a little bit of cold, but making it incredibly comfortable. Yeah, I, I think this is one of those things that I have to say has grown on me now that I've seen the practicality of it. So from a style and fashion sense, I still would gravitate probably elsewhere. But from a comfort practicality standpoint, this has got to be kind of in the top ones. It's probably going to wind up in my front hall closet, which is a testimony. In other words, it's not going to be put back into the display. It's going to be utilized. And I have to say, I, I, had, a, I had a couple of um, inspirational moments in doing this. First of all, Fleming Never Dies is a Instagram channel. And I have to say, he's worn his a lot. He lives in China and um, warm, obviously. And he wore it and I thought, wow, he looks incredibly comfortable and he's wearing it everywhere. It looks very practical. And the other thing is Connolly of England, you know, showing different people wearing this in different situations. I didn't want this to be I didn't want this to be a display piece. So it's it's won me over over time through its wear. Anyway, just wanted to show you. I know this was a quick one, but this is part of what we do. We we experiment and we find out does does our passion and connection to these items translate to something that is actually practical and wearable? Gosh, we hope so, right? How are we going to create that invisible bond otherwise? Anyway, this has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience, and we will see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.